What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? The internet, social media in general, could be a dangerous place. People just doing anything, anything, just to get some affirmation out here. In this clip right here, you know, I... When I when I first heard of it, when I first heard of it from the Mother Trucker News, I was looking at it and I was listening to what he was saying. And he made some uh some good points. But I'm I was when I first looked at it, I was like, huh, dude is in an automatic truck. He's in a he he's in a self he's in a self driving truck. He's in one of those trucks that you see on the road now with those little black things and all like that with all the sensors and everything. And I I I said to myself, I said, huh. He's in a he's in a self-driving truck. But then I went over to uh Truck Hustler on Instagram and I got the video, as you guys could see, and I'm looking at it and I'm going like something ain't right something just don't look right i mean if this was a self-driving truck would there be a little bit more sensors or something like that inside the truck this look like the this look like a regular automatic inside of a volvo i drove volvos before i'm just saying that that's how i can tell that this is a volvo because i i drove them Here's this guy in the back of the bunk recording while going down, you know, look like a straight road. And I'm, I'm going to assume he probably just got this truck out of the shop because, I mean, <laughs> just looking at it going down the road is like, <laughs> wow. That that uh that is some freaking good that is some freaking good alignment right there. <laughs> I mean it's <laughs> I mean it is it is damn good. I mean you bro, you you just you just literally got this out of the shop, man. You had to had you had to just got this out of the shop in order to get alignment that damn good. But of course, the internet is always going to come back after you. This this right here is not funny, though. For real, for real. This is this is dangerous. This is dangerous, and this is what I'm talking about: TikTok truckers, uh, uh, social media truckers. This is what you guys do. You guys are a bad representation of the industry. And when I say, when I say that this ain't nothing, that, that trucking is trending, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This right here. This driver doing something that's unsafe to get it on video so he can get likes, views, and affirmation. Of course, some of the guys in the comment section is not, is not liking this. This commenter says, apparently no brains and maybe the video is not real. Maybe, maybe, maybe you, you're right. This commenter says somebody is going to recognize that hat and those legs. It's only a matter of time. Well, as, as, as you may know, there are, there are internet insta uh, investigators. They investigating everything. They pausing, they critiquing, they zooming in on certain things. Like for example, if you get a good picture of his, of his, uh, of his drive clock, you could probably zoom all the way in, and you probably might be able to pull his name. The hat, they looking at the hat close. The you know the little flag in the corner. They critiquing everything. They looking at this man's feet. They looking at this man's legs. Maybe you might not be able to see that, but I'm just saying that's what internet investigators do, man. 
This commenter says, just another way for the government to get involved that makes all this stuff in cars and trucks, something happens. Governments come in control. Now, I, a lot of co a lot of commenters in here are you know are going back and forth on this particular video. Now, you do have some commenters in here that say, "Bruh, that's great, bruh, that's awesome, bruh." You know, I mean, everybody, I I I, I just I just don't get it. You know, I guess you could say, like the one video that I did about the guy ghost riding the truck, but. That was in a controlled environment. This right here, dude is on a road, a highway, and it's dark. And the truck looks like it's going about 50 miles per hour. Now, I know it only takes him a hot second to hop from the, from the back into the front and, cr and probably grab control of the truck. But these are the type of drivers that you see that's that's in major accidents doing. And I mean, doing social media stuff. This is social media stuff. It needs to stop. You guys need to pay attention. You guys need you. You just need to stop, man. This ain't cool. Nobody ain't learning anything from this. Only thing that you're doing is a dangerous act just to get a response. Gets just to get a response or get a reaction, which you're doing very good at it, by the way. This commenter says, even if you do this to record the video for a few seconds, still is dangerous for others on the road. But then again, initially when I saw this, I thought this was a self-driving truck. But upon further investigation, unfortunately, is not. Drivers, I know you got some strong feelings about this because it's your family out there. It's my family out there. And we got, got half-hearted drivers that's doing social media trucking that's just putting other people and, and the surrounding public in danger. <music>